Hello everyone, today I'm making milk tart using just three eggs. So first things first, this is 150 grams of butter. It was super hard so I put it in the microwave for a little bit. So you want a soft butter. Okay, now I'm just going to whisk it a bit. Now I'm going to add so why is it half a cup of sugar? Put this here one side, and let this just go for a couple of minutes. Okay, so it's been two minutes while I was whisking the butter, the soft butter, with a half a cup of sugar. And I'm going to add one extra large egg. Was that extra large? No, it was just a large egg. And then a teaspoon of vanilla. Now I'm going to mix this together. Now we're going to add the dry ingredients, which is two cups and another half a cup and a teaspoon of baking powder. Right. I'm just going to work this in gently. Don't overwork your dough. Oopie. <laughs> For the deal. Don't overwork your dough. Okay. And just cut it in like this. And now with clean hands, I'm going to go in and bring it all together. Okay. This is a fairly stiff dough. And I want it stiff because I'm working with a runny filling. Okay. There we go. Nice coming together. See? And you want that little extra bit of crumbly bits. Got a nice dough. Get rid of these. Still nice and soft. Now you have a little bit of dough left after you make this milk tart and you can just keep that to bake some butter biscuits or whatever biscuit you like. There we go. And you know it's a good biscuit dough. When you work with it and the bowl is clean. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Nice. We have nice smooth dough. And now this I'm gonna clean it up and I'm going to put it in the fridge for about 20 minutes and then we're going to do the next step. Okay. Okay, so I've put on my oven. Um, it's preheating now on, on 80 degrees Celsius. I've also greased my round baking pan dish. And I just got the cling wrap that it was in. And I didn't use all of it because I want to make a thin crust. And biscuit base this you can keep to make some biscuits and I'm just gonna roll it out turn it like I said this is a fairly stiff dough and you want that with this recipe okay and with the milk tart always make sure that there's no 
holes in your biscuit base. There we go. So what I want to do is just do this. Quickly flip it over. Take this off. And I'll just fix it up here and there and make a nice base for the mold tart. And we'll be right back. So now we're going to make the custard filling for the milk tart. This is 350 ml of milk or one and a half cups of milk. And with this I'm going to add first a tablespoon of custard powder. If you want your filling to be on the more stiffer side, just add another teaspoon okay, of custard powder. In it goes. And this is just to help set it even more and stabilize it so custard powder is basically corn flour that's mazina that's colored yellow and flavored with vanilla and that's custard powder and with that i'm going to add a quarter teaspoon a quarter cup of sugar three extra large eggs A pinch of cardamom, that's ground cardamom, and a dash of vanilla. Can never go wrong with vanilla. <laughs> and now I'm just going to mix this, whisk it until it's nice and smooth and well mixed. And then I'm going to pour it into my biscuit base and then I'm going to bake it. So we'll be right back. I've transferred the mixture to a bowl so I can just whisk better. <laughs> I'm going to pour it back into the jug. And when I do that, it's always a good idea if you have a sieve, you can just pour it through a sieve just to make sure there's no little extra pieces you guys see oh I'm not oh, pardon me say hmm? and if you don't have ground cardamom just take the whole cardamom take out the seeds and then just put it in a piece of mortar and ground it up if you don't have that you're gonna have to take your milk put in whole cardamom pods and warm it up in a saucepan and let that flavor infuse and then cool it off. So this is just a shortcut so I don't have to do all that. So I just get me some ground cardamom. And now I have my base nice in the dish and with a milk tart I always like to put it on a tray just in case <laughs> and it's easier to carry and transfer to the oven. And then you gently pour. My base is nice and cold. If this is summer, I advise you to put the base, the biscuit base, in the fridge before you pour the mixture. And now just a simple sprinkling of cinnamon. And this goes and bake in the oven until the biscuit base is nice golden brown. And the custard has set. It's about 30 to 35 minutes, but I'll give you the correct time when it comes out. Okay. Okay, and so while the milk tart is in the oven, and I'm um, under correction, it's about 40 to 45 minutes. And I just rolled out the remaining biscuit dough and just used any cookie cutter. And I'm just going to put on, I normally turn this around and press it, but I'm just going to do it the, like this. You can do any style you like. I wasn't going to put anything on and then I changed my mind. Because I'm going to give this to the kitties and they love, you know, bits of color. This is the hundreds and thousands. 
and when you normally do this you actually take the biscuit and press it into a plate filled with hundreds and thousands but I now oh, decided last minute to put this on anywho passepartout here we go <laughs> and this goes also into the oven but I'll keep an eye on these because they only need about about 10 to 12 minutes in the oven also on 180 degrees Celsius and we'll be right back okay so I'm taking the milk tart out of the oven it's been exactly 45 minutes let me just show you guys here's this wiggle 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 and if you take your clean hands and just touch it you'll see it's nice and it springs back okay now this has to cool off completely before you cut into it how i'm gonna wait i don't know because you know you're always in a hurry to have milk tart but do wait till it's completely cold before you cut into it okay and there it is milk tart Hope you enjoyed the video please go to my youtube channel fatima cider cooks and subscribe and i'll be back again with another video soon and did you see guys from the leftover that's my wobble barking there here's the biscuits and there's your milk tart i am going to cut into the milk tart a bit later and i'll probably do a short video but i'll post it on my instagram and my Instagram is also Fatima Sara Cooks. And you can see that video there. Okay. Bye, everyone. Okay, guys. So now I'm going to cut it open. I'm not good at cutting cakes. Try my best for it. Yes. Okay. Let's take it out. And there we go. Delicious milk tart. How you like that? <laughs> so, please go to my YouTube channel, Fat Masada Cook. And I'll be back again with another video soon. Bye, everyone. <laughs>